Unfortunately, it continues to be kind of gloomy and rainy out there, and things are just going to get worse before they get better, right, Kevin? Yeah, we've kind of got the battle of the seasons going on as we transition from summer right on over into fall tomorrow at 320, and it will feel like it. So get set for big changes here by the time you wake up in the morning. In fact, they're going to take place while you sleep. Radar outside right now, not a lot happening in the immediate tri-state, although notice on the edge of your television screen there as you look west, there's quite a bit in the way of rain beginning to scoot our direction now. We We've had some mostly on again, off again, light showers throughout the evening for a good part of the area. None of it's been particularly heavy, but that's going to start to change here. We've got some showers scooting through parts of Butler County from Middletown over towards Trenton and then getting on over towards Oxford. Those will continue to drift north a little bit heavier stuff here now coming up towards Connorsville out of Franklin County, and that's going to be the trend through the night tonight is for us to see an uptick in the intensity of the rain. I'm not worried about severe weather. There could be a rumble of thunder for someone, but I don't even think there's a lot of that. It's more or less just a good old fashioned soaking that starts while we sleep tonight and carries over basically through the first half of your Wednesday. So here's what's happening. Notice this large area of rain beginning to get better organized tonight out across parts of Indiana. That's as this storm system that's scooting towards Cincinnati tonight begins to get its act together. This big system is going to wrap up essentially right over our head and we're going to see things go from mild and muggy temperatures near 70 to brisk and chilly and wet with temperatures in the 50s tomorrow. So the threat for rain is high through the rest of the night into your Wednesday. In fact, there will be some folks who are still dealing with rain on Thursday morning. That's how that system really just spins up right on top of us and you'll see it. I'll show it to you. Check out Futurecast. Watch how the rain builds in out of Indiana through the night. Somewhere 3, 4 a.m. I think steadier rain overspreads the entire area. And this is a problem for the morning commute tomorrow because while it's not necessarily thunderstorm activity, it's a lot of steady embedded pockets of heavier rain with some of these rainfall rates Unfortunately, given the high volume of people that will be on the road, there'll be a lot of standing water out there, so you'll need some extra time for that morning commute tomorrow as you send the kids out the door and you get ready to go to work. Look at three o'clock in the afternoon. It's still raining around a good chunk of the tri-state, and do you see how this spin basically is right on top of us? Some areas of southeast Indiana could see some concerns with high water, as I think that will be the big winner or loser in the heaviest rainfall amounts across southeast Indiana. I think in general, we're talking for most of us a solid one to two inches of rain tomorrow, and a lot of that will fall, especially and could be heavier in southeast Indiana. Could get amounts upwards of three, so a good soaking is coming. And look at this. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. There's still wet weather around, and here we are Thursday morning. Finally, it looks like the rain lets up on Thursday. So get set for a wet and chilly period here setting in for the next 24 hours. So as we work our way through the night, it stays mild right up until sunrise almost, and then temperatures take a dive quickly down into the 50s, and that's where we'll stay all day tomorrow. For now, we're ahead of the front. We're still in the 70s. Southeast wind at the moment. Temperatures area wide are pretty much around 70, and that will be our high for tomorrow is what the temperature will be at midnight tonight. So steady rain arrives, maybe a rumble of thunder overnight, turning cooler by morning, 57 by the time you wake up tomorrow, 70, but that's here in the next 20 minutes. It'll never be that warm during the day tomorrow. As with the north wind, it will certainly feel like fall, which arrives at 320 tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. All right, we're down to 50 tomorrow night, and then on Thursday, maybe a little rain early, improvements as the day wears on. The coldest night should be Thursday night, Friday morning when we get down into the middle and upper 40s and then a nice rebound over the weekend. And I love here on the seven day summer's not giving up without a fight. There's 80s back on the board by Monday. How fall doesn't just come at four or five or six, <laughs> 320. 320 in the Sharp. afternoon. That's yes. when I'm coming. That's what's going to happen. All right.